Okay, guys. Past the 24 hour, and this is stuff. It's settled down in that bucket, and we got the, in that jar from the pins, from the wash pins. You see that? This is settled down. So what we do next is the, is the filter this, and this is our pins. You see that? There is no gold, this is just a reflection from the camera, from the light. This is pins is a 99% strip off. So, what we do next is uh, to decant this water and uh, filter all that black powder. And what we use for this is the just want to show you this. You know what is this? This we use for the filter. My friends told me about that, and I just want to try it. This is the crap paper, not crap paper for the real crap. This is scrap paper for the decor, and uh, you make flower from these from the, for the weddings and other stuff. So what we use, we make filter from this because the catch really nice powder, and uh, we got this uh, stuff for our charming plug. You know what is this? So. Okay, I'll make some filter and I filter this stuff. Okay, we make our filter from the crap paper. See that? It's not pretty, but uh, it's do their job. And uh, what I want to say to you, you see that uh, red color of the water uh, solution is because the color on the paper. See that? It's a little less here, but here's a little more. It's just... Uh, Paper is a release thick color, but trust me, everything stay on paper. We are slow, we are filter this, then we will back. A lot of crap here. Hey guys, so I filter already filter my solution, and uh, this is my filter and the black powder. I already add uh, 250 milliliter HCl, hydrochloric acid 35%. And this is some water with I uh, from the filtering. And if you see that, see that layer here, still got some microscopic powder. So my filter is not the best, I guess. This is okay, but this one got that layer. So I filter that again. With my charming plug. And uh, you see that already got the gold in the charming plug. So uh, this is not a big amount, uh, it's not important for this procedure right now. I will process that some other time. Just I don't want to waste. And uh, what we do next is the add here. <coughs> Just we got uh, this little guy here. Okay. We clean that later. So we got here 250 milliliter HCl, and now we will do some add some nitric acid, and we'll make some aqua regia to dissolve all this. But the problem is uh, we will probably not dissolve everything because. Uh,
I got some other stuff beside the black powder. I got uh, some uh, maybe burnt plastic which I got uh, with the pins in the sulfuric acid but that never mind. That will be enough. And we'll leave that for the some time to dissolve. I'll let the dissolve all that black powder. Okay. Okay. Take that. This is my cat. He's making me a company. So, so that we dissolve all our black powder. And this is a uh, cloudy stuff inside. It's my filter because I shake this and the filter is uh, go into little pieces. So, never mind. It's important that our solution now is uh, yellow, not black anymore. I just wait to these two guys finish and I put them together to dissolve that aqua regia and filter all that. Okay guys, so see that we filter our aqua regia and it's uh, looking very nice. It's got a little greenish color, so got some base metal inside probably. And now we will We will neutralize that with the uh, urea. First, we got uh, our catch pan and we got some urea. And we add just a little bit. See that? Don't add too much because. It will it will boil. Okay. Uh, you add little by little urea uh, till uh, you don't get any reaction. And uh, when you add some urea and you don't get reaction, you're ready to drop some gold. You see how reaction you got on Rhea. Uh, sulfonic acid is much better for the neutralized nitric acid, but uh, I don't got sulfonic acid, so urea is the second choice. Okay, I leave this uh, the state till morning, and uh, you see when I put some urea inside, there is no reaction at all so we neutralize nitric acid still got some little bubbles so we're gonna wait just a little bit and uh, we add some SMB to drop gold okay I will dissolve some SMB in this cup with the slate water and uh, now we make some drop, some gold. Okay, I don't have some extra drop because it's not too much gold inside but if you see that on the bottom I got a pretty good layer so we got our gold 
we leave more of that to settle down and we filter that. Okay, now we finish our filtering. I don't don't expect much gold because the, I got a 30, uh, 350, 400 grams pins, but not the full plated pins. Maybe just a 5% full plated pins. The others is just a part plated pins. It's clean. Okay, so. When I finish this, I will, melt, I will melt this and see how little bead we got. Actually, it's not important how much gold. It's important uh, that uh, I show you how I do that process from the beginning to the, to the end. Hey guys, so it's a moment of truth. This is our little bead and uh, we'll see how much weight so 0 0.2 gram not bad this is the uh, be a very little amount of plate pins so okay that's our goal so you know the process it's the same for full, full plate pins and uh, for the that small plate pins so okay that's why we don't have that uh, visible drop because it's a little amount of gold hey guys what's up so uh, this is a little explaining ending for this video uh, uh, probably some of you will said me uh, that uh, it's not a bigger amount of gold and uh, don't worth the trouble but uh, for me it's a uh, be fun because I just want to show you how I do some reverse electroplating and uh, we got this uh, uh, almost uh, 40 gra uh, 400 grams uh, these pins but uh, you see that pins is not be a full plated pins it's uh, be from uh, this uh, board mostly and uh, you see the board from uh, what is that pins and uh, uh, the main reason this video it's a bit of short just process the process is the same even for the 300 grams even for the one kilogram or a couple of pounds uh, pins uh, maybe uh, sometime I got uh, a lot more amount of pins that couple of pounds I make the video how the process couple of pounds but uh, for now this is it uh, because uh, I don't have too much material right now and uh, the other stuff yeah I'm naked because it's a uh, I'm naked just t I miss my t-shirt because it's uh, for the fucking 40 degrees outside uh, it's very hot and uh, what I just want to say the other stuff uh, this is a uh, refined gold we probably got some more if we uh, straight melt this black powder but uh, it's be probably 10 14 carat gold but this is refined gold and okay uh, more one more one thing uh, when you use uh, the brass mesh it's okay it's a practical the same stuff like the copper mesh but this dish from the uh, wash machine laundry machine uh, be careful be careful when you uh, take some of this uh, plastic because uh, not all the plastic is uh, from the uh, wash machine uh, laundry machine uh, is a uh, good plastic for the sulfuric acid uh, this last uh, which I use uh, it's uh, extremely good because uh, the sulfuric acid nothing hurt that plastic but uh, the last one I use uh, it's actually after a couple of hours uh, using uh, it's actually start to dissolve some plastic 
So be very careful if you use that uh, doors, plastic door from the laundry machine. Uh, after 20 minutes, you just check, uh, shake a little bit your solution and see from the side uh, how, uh, how your plastic is, uh, is still uh, okay or is still uh, start to, or it's uh, start to dissolve. So, okay, uh, safety first, use gloves, use glasses, use mask. I, say, I said that uh, to you, but you see, I'm not always using that, but uh, I'm idiot, I'm an idiot, not problem. So, okay, I go, today, today is a Sunday, and I don't work today, so I go to do something other some other video and uh, make some fun stuff for you see you around guys